All right, guys, went well, back today with an incredibly innovative backpack ballistic panel that comes in at a high value price and not only stops common handgun rounds, but actually stops a lot of rifle threats, making this a level three plus backpack panel that still weighs only four pounds and is incredibly affordable. This is the new Guard Dog Armor Level 3 Plus Backpack Plate, and it comes in at 209 which is a great deal. And when you try to compare it to others on the market, there just aren't any that come in at this price. The other cool thing about this is I've got the code 704 Tactical for 10% off, dropping the price under 190 so definitely take advantage of that. Now this one is pretty slick because it's definitely a hybrid between incredible rifle stopping technology yet still keeping it slim and sleek to allow it to fit inside a backpack very nice. You can see the measurements on this guy are 10 and a half by 13 and the weight is only four pounds. It also has a five year warranty and it's made out of ultra high molecular weight polyethylene. So when it hits, it actually protects from spall as well. So you get the spall protection built into the plate itself. And it definitely has some multi-strike capabilities because it is that ultra high molecular weight polyethylene. It's also more rugged for drops and different things like that, making it more ideal for a backpack panel. It also has the round that edges at the top as you see here so it contours with the backpack panel as you're kind of zipping everything up now these guys actually prioritize concealment on top of just crazy back face deformation protection as well as stopping like armor piercing rounds i mean there's got to be a hybrid and again this is not designed to be put into a combat plate carrier but in a defensive role as a backpack panel so it really did merge the gaps perfectly with stopping rounds that i would want it to personally stop without being too bulky or heavy to be cumbersome where you just wouldn't use it at all inside a backpack this is designed to be an EDC plate that goes in your backpack every single day. Again, reiterating that it's not a combat plate that you'll stick in a plate carrier where you know you're going to be engaging targets with full power rifles. But this stops a lot and let's talk about what it does stop. Obviously, all of the handgun calibers, multi-strike capability, and your rifle rounds. 5.56-55 grain, M193, 7.62x39 AK rounds, and 7.62x51 M80 ball full metal jacket NATO rounds from a 308. That is insanely impressive for, again, four pounds, under 200 bucks, and that 10 and a half uh, by 13 and a half. So it's just a solid option, and it's only 0.8 inches thick, so under one inch thick, so it's easily going to fit inside a backpack. So I'm really impressed with the plate. I've already fallen in love with it, but let's take it down to the range, shoot it, and see what we think when we get back. Down at the range to actually test the plate and see what it can stop. We're going to be shooting it with 556, 762 by 39, and 308 out of an AR-10 from right at about 20 yards. Let's get to shooting. First up, 556 out of this AR-15. So here is our impact, and I do want to mention that this is a zero spall plate. No spall is busting out of here, so that is a great addition to this plate that it has spall protection, and it did not pass through. You can see a very slight back face deformation, but again, the purpose of this plate is a backpack plate, and it did an amazing job with 5.56, five, now 762 by 39 and 308. Now 762 by 39 out of the CMMG Bufferless Descent. If you want more information, subscribe to the channel and check out the full review of this rifle. So here is our impact right next to the edge and it stopped it no issues whatsoever it does have some more back face deformation i'll probably say about a half inch but again stopped it no problem now for the 308 i'm shooting m80 ball out of this leviathan defense ar-10 so here is our impact 20 yards with a 308 and it stopped it so it split the back and this is some pretty substantial back face deformation 
I would be concerned about something like this if this was a plate for inside a plate carrier. But again, the purpose of this plate was be to, to slid into a backpack, really stopping common rifle rounds, yet at an incredibly thin, lightweight package that could actually be comfortable inside a backpack. And I think it did its job spectacularly, especially with what you consider the price of this after my discount code and what it can stop as well as the thin nature of the plate and the lightweight design this is going in a lot of my backpacks as well as even sliding into the back seat of my car a lot of times you have those compartments in the back seats of your car especially with all the craziness going on in the world you could slide that in and have a level three plus plate right there and it worked out great so guys we are back from the range i've grabbed the second plate and it worked out great again you can see there was definitely some back face deformation with the 308 on the plate but that is to be expected again because we are prioritizing our guard dog armor anyways is prioritizing concealment over some other things and it's going to stop a lot and this is what i love about it most of the things you're going to encounter are going to be basic handgun rounds but in that crazy scenario where you encounter a rifle, this will stop 223, 556, 762 by 39, and 308. My plan for this plate is to put it in my EDC pack that's got that thicker padding in the back. So it will absorb a lot of that back face deformation. The other thing is, is you can slide something else behind it too to kind of give you that spacing between your back. And if you were to engage a target, you could simply flip your black backpack around to your chest and utilize this as a true plate carrier. So far above and beyond the back face def. Oh, and, and I also want to reiterate too that when you're talking about a level 3A plate that you would normally have in a backpack, you know, forget rifle rounds. 223 is going to cut right through it. 762 is going to cut right through it. But even if you get hit with a 9mm or a 45, the back face deformation is going to be massive if you ever shot a kevlar plate you know what i'm talking about i mean it completely bows in so when you are talking about back face deformation on a 308 it's a lot more minor than the back face deformation you would get with a level 3a plate using nine millimeters so you want to take that all into consideration but this is an awesome plate i highly recommend it i'm probably going to try to get a couple more of these things because it's going to be my new go-to backpack armor plate Another cool thing you can use this with is slide it behind the seat of your car. There's always a panel or a pocket behind the seat of your car to start bulletproofing out your car. The world's getting crazy. I know it might be a little bit overkill, but these are good options at affordable prices. And they also have a ton of other things on their website. And that code 704 Tactical for 10% off is still valid across the board. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.